Look at the little dogs. Ugh. I'm so happy. They came out with pumpkin spice dude wipes. I was just sitting there like, <laughs> pumpkin spice. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to another sick day in my life vlog. Because if I don't vlog, I will totally go cuckoo bananas. Because me and that couch have spent way too much time together the last few days. But I am slowly, oh, slowly getting better. You guys, my ribs and my insides literally hurt from coughing. That's kind of where I'm at. But hanging out with you guys and vlogging, it definitely does make me like feel better. Yarwin got me a medicine ball tea. These are so freaking good. If you ever get a cold or allergies or you just want like a yummy tea, the medicine ball, it's like cold buster medicine ball tea. It's like peach tranquility tea, mint tea, honey, and I think they might put a little lemonade in it. I don't know. It's very good. Very soothing. I actually just finished this. So I thought we could hang out today. I want to open this with you guys. I bought this on TikTok shop and I want to see how the quality is. Oh, it's so cute. I'm such a sucker for TikTok shop. Like it, it's almost annoying because every video on your For You page is just like, like a something for sale and it's all like so great. <laughs> Look at this Halloween sweater. I could not resist. I could not resist. It's so cute and we're in October now. Look at the little dogs. They're in costumes. They're all dressed up as little ghosty witches and they're trick or treating. Oh, come on. How could you, how could you even scroll past this and resist it? It's simply impossible. We got this in the mail, Amazon Holiday Dash. Do you guys remember being a kid and getting in the mail? I think it was Toys R Us, like the Toys R Us toy catalog for Christmas and how exciting it was. And you'd like go through it and like circle things. This must be the new the new version of that, but with Amazon. Oh yeah, like all the toys. I do, I remember getting that book and just like going through it and circling things and it was just so exciting. Like what am I gonna ask Santa for? I am starting to see though, like a lot of uh, like Christmas and holiday, you know, advertisements and things like that. I guess it's it's really right around the corner. I can't believe how close we are to Vlogmas. So hopefully, hopefully this is my only sickness of the year and Vlogmas will be smooth sailing. But anyway, I actually I should have got a bigger pack of medicine. The one that I Instacarted the other day from Stop and Shop, I have one pack left. So I just did another Instacart order, but from Target and guess what they had? Guess what they had guys? They had witches brew So I only got two. I just got two individuals because I have plenty of Alani's and I don't know I didn't want to buy like a ton of them, but I bought two So I'm very excited um, And then I also grabbed toilet paper and dish soap um, So at least got a few other things that we needed um, for the house. I don't often use Instacart, but it is very nice to have like when you want to use it. So I'm just waiting. That should actually be here shortly. The woman who was doing the shopping for Instacart was so freaking nice. She even messaged me and she was like, what's your phone number if you want me to put in for like Target Circle rewards? I was like, girl, you are so nice. So anyway, um, so like I said, I'm slowly starting to feel better. I am about halfway through Love is Blind now. And I can see why people were saying it was a wild season. It is definitely chaotic. I don't know if I'm halfway through. I might have watched, I might be on episode four. I think I watched three of the episodes, but things are definitely starting to get little cuckoo bananas. So anyway, I'm going to um, chug more water because I really feel like that's helping. I was really excited because last night was the first night I slept through the night. You know, when you're sick and you're just like kind of in and out all night, like waking up to blow your nose and cough and you're just in and out the whole night uncomfortable. Last night I slept through the whole night and it was just like, it really, really helped me quite a bit um, today. So I finally feel well enough to like, you know, do some editing because I took clips the last few days. Um, yesterday I did not like, I did not move from the couch. So I definitely feel a bit more alive today. So 
I'm excited to hang out with you guys today. I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. A few minutes later. All right, just kidding, I'm back. I just got my Target stuff delivered. Um, so we've got more cold medicine and the Holy Grail. Ugh, I'm so happy. So happy. Who knows if I'll get any more for the rest of the season through Halloween. If you have not tried Witch's Brew yet, it's caramel apple. It doesn't sound like it would be, for me anyway, it didn't sound super appetizing, but it's like my all time favorite Alani flavor. And then I did grab a few of these, these Oscar Mayer natural. It's like a 15 grams of protein snack pack. It's got uh, meat and cheese and crackers. They're just like my favorite snack. So sometimes I grab them. And then Yar's doing laundry. So I needed to get more scent boosters. So I bought these. <laughs> They're so little. But I needed toilet paper for um, the downstairs bathroom. And <laughs> these are so small. This is only $1.29, so it's not a big deal, but it looked, they looked bigger on the thing. It doesn't matter, it's fine. But like, they're so, it's so teeny. This is the smallest toilet paper. <laughs> oh, it's funny. And then um, some of this Smartly dish soap, so. That's my Target haul, and I figured while I have you guys here, I'm going to do the daily immunity boosting shot if you watch the last sick vlog these are the bane of my existence and i don't know if they do a damn thing but we're gonna take it because it makes me feel like it's doing something so this one's the cayenne one this is the one with full hot bars super kick it has ginger root turmeric root black pepper and cayenne pepper and i've taken ones with three out of four for kick and this is a four out of four so it's about to be real spicy in this bee oh lord i can see the black pepper oh my god i'm nervous bruno i'm nervous all right i have my chaser my water ready to go <sighs> Whew. That never gets easier. I'll say it, and I'll say it every time. I will always say it never gets easier. Whew. This is a spicy one. All right, I'm about to go watch more Love is Blind. One eternity later. All right, you guys, checking back in. It has been a few hours. I'm gonna have lunch now. It is 12.51. The timing of this could not be better. I just got in my meals from Factor. Huge thank you to them for sponsoring this vlog because this is legit me and Yar's new fave. Like getting these meals could not have come at a better time when your girl does not want to cook, but I still want to eat healthy. Legit, you guys, these are all fresh meals, never frozen. Like these don't go in the freezer, they just pop into the fridge. They are dietitian approved and they literally have a team of gourmet chefs and they are so yummy. Yara actually just had one, I should have recorded it. But he loved his lunch. I'm trying to decide which one I wanna have. I have sour cream and chive chicken, roasted veggie pesto tortellini, black pepper and sage pork chop, Indian butter chicken. Which one do I wanna have? I think I'm gonna do the black pepper and sage pork chop. And it comes with smoked cheddar brussels and creamy broccoli. This meal has 45 grams of protein, A man. Here's what each one looks like. Get your nutrition facts and directions. Okay, so let's get this bad boy warmed up. You guys can adjust your stride this autumn without missing a step. Choose from 35 plus weekly flavor packed, fresh, never frozen meals that promote a healthy lifestyle and meet your meal preferences, all ready to eat in two minutes. Relish the best of autumn with fall flavors. Our limited time only hearty, comforting meals with seasonal veggies like cranberry pecan, chicken and apple Dijon pork chops. Ready in just two minutes, they'll satisfy your fall cravings during the busy season without the hassle. You guys can also level up with gourmet plus options. Prepared to perfection by chefs and ready to eat in record time. Treat yourself to upscale meals with premium ingredients like broccolini, leeks, truffle butter, and asparagus. You guys can head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code FEARLESS50 to get 50% off your first factor box. Oh, you guys, this is so good. Like the flavor is fire, fire. Definitely go check out Factor. It just makes like getting a healthy quick meal great to like bring to work if you're working from home bring it to an office i love that they're never frozen um it's really really delicious so thank you factor for sponsoring the vlog i'm gonna go enjoy this 
and uh, report back to my couch. Many hours later. All right, more medicine time. Oh my God. I am at the point now of Love is Blind where I see why everyone was saying this was a crazy season. There is so much happening. Like, <laughs> this is a wild, wild season. All right, you guys, it is now 5.15 and I can tell I'm like totally Delulu because I didn't even turn on my leaf garland today. I don't think I did yesterday. Maybe I did, I don't remember, but that's how I know I'm sick. Because <laughs> the first thing I usually do every day is turn on the leaf garland for cozy vibes. I don't have it on over there either. We have to turn it on. Bruno, mommy is losing it. Like, hello. It's also like 80 degrees today, so that's weird. This happens like every year in New England though, where it is just like a spurt of summer in October for a couple days. So, like, there's just a few days in a row where it's like 80. And then next week it's gonna go back to like 50s and 60s, like weird but not because it happens all the time um also i think i have <laughs> you want your supper bruno knows it's supper time dogs are so smart animals are so smart you want your supper right around five you want supper you want supper come on <laughs> we were playing with his toys earlier who wants supper who wants supper let me get your supper mm -hmm. So exciting. Ooh, who wants supper? Here you go, Baba. He totally knew it was supper time. Anyway, I think I've mustered up the strength to change the sheets because since I feel like a little bit better, sleeping on fresh sheets tonight would just be like a 10 out of 10 experience. You know, when you're sick and you finally start to feel a little better, it's like fresh sheets. And I'm gonna take another long steam shower. I've been doing that every day to thin my mucus <laughs> for lack of a better word yar should be done with work soon he's working from home today um and honestly i think we're gonna have more factor for dinner because <laughs> i know neither of us is gonna cook tonight this is what it's like trying to make a bed with an animal i'm sure cats do this too don't they <laughs> tail wagon you think we're going to play do you think we're going to play <laughs> can mama make the bed please show them your beautiful nose your snout we got him this really nice new, can I show them please? Can I show them your new collar? His new dog tag. It's, um, what, what's the website called? I can't even remember. But it's rubber. He thinks we're playing. It's rubber. So um, his old one frayed and like rubbed off. This one's like really durable. I know, we're not playing. You want belly rubs? Here. The second I do belly rubs, he's calm. You love belly rubs. You love Betty Rubs. Can I show them your pretty collar? Your pretty tag? Look how nice it is, says Bruno. With your info on the back. Yes, so handsome. So beautiful. Oh, I mean, look at you. You are so cute. Can I make the bed, though? Can I please make the bed? Oh, bless you. One eternity later. All right, it wasn't easy, but the bed has been made. All right. I'm gonna take a shower and breathe some more steam. Tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. I feel like my voice sounds a little bit better today. I think genuinely resting, drinking fluids, it all it all adds up, but all it all does make a difference. I'm just gonna get this out of the way. I've got my last wellness shot, and we're just down the hatch in it. This is the original immunity boost. And what am I gonna say? It never gets easier. Get ready. Get ready for me to say it again. Maybe they're helping, because I actually feel like, you know, maybe it's just running its regular course. That's the thing, like you never really know. All right, cheers, yay. Whew. never gets easier. This is the original one. This one's definitely the least horrible. <laughs> but hey, maybe it was helping. Look what I got in from Amazon. Y'all are gonna laugh. It's a judge-free zone here on this channel, okay? I have shared before, Yara and I love dude wipes. We usually get the mint. They're essentially just like really big 
wipes. They came out, <laughs> this is so gross, but I love it. They came out with pumpkin spice dude wipes. <laughs> Dumpkin spice, oh my God. Look at, I can't, you can't make this up. I, I have to, I have to smell it. <laughs> I have to smell it. Cause when you wanna bring fall to every aspect of your life, oh my God, they smell really good. Judge me if you want, but I think it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, honestly, overall, the biggest thing right now that's lingering is my cough. Um, that's really just, it's kind of the way it goes with colds. I feel like the cough is always just like what sticks around the longest. But the good thing is my nose isn't really running anymore. My throat isn't sore. I feel like I have a bit more energy today. I think I'm actually ready to unpack from Newport. I have not had the energy and I feel, it might tucker me out, but that's fine. I can always rest after, um, but I think I'm ready. To, I think I'm actually ready to unpack the suitcase. Um, so let's do it. It'll feel good because it's sitting on the bedroom floor and driving me absolutely nuts. putting away the suitcase and the laundry it's all it's all unpacked amen just thank god <coughs> i'm still coughing a lot but like the first few days when i'd cough i would get really dizzy and like really really tired and doing that you know i'm a little tired but not nearly as bad as the last few days i'm gonna rest still the majority of today because this weekend I'm supposed to go to my with my family to tag my grandma's Christmas tree because you know every October we tag the tree in October and we cut it down in December or actually no the end of November the weekend after Thanksgiving it's like our family tradition so I want to make sure I'm better in a few days to go to that so I'm, I'm gonna definitely take it easy the rest of today oh my gosh you guys I forgot to say yesterday so I was hardcore binging, 90, not 90 Day Fiance, oh, I was binging um, Love is Blind and I was just like loving it. I was eating it up. I was just involved, invested, lived, laugh, loving it. And then all of a sudden it's like coming up and I'm like, where's the next episode button? And they, <laughs> they're making us wait <laughs> for the last few episodes um, tomorrow two more come out and then the last episode comes out like a few days after that. I'm like, Netflix. I feel like in the old days, the benefit of streaming networks was that like everything came out at once. <laughs> now they start to make you wait, but I'm really upset. So I did start watching um, The Ultimatum now because there was a new season of that. That show is just wild. I just, I really can't even imagine like what, oh, it's just, I don't know. That would just be so emotional. All, all of it's very emotional. But anyway, this season of Love is Blind is wild. I have to show you guys this TikTok I just saw. If you haven't watched it yet and you're not gonna, or if you're gonna watch it, um, skip past. But this is the funniest TikTok I've ever seen. I just wanna know why it's awkward and you're incapable of speaking. Well, four days ago when we met, you were wearing makeup. Okay, and? How could I even, like, trust you when you have a caked up face and, like, fake eyelashes? I haven't worn makeup, like, every day. And maybe if you didn't that day, I wouldn't be giving off serial killer vibes. Do you know how insane you sound? Do you know how many girls would love for a guy <laughs> to be controlling and tell them they can't wear makeup? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out. I'm, I want a divorce. 
At the end of every clip, they have him wearing more red, white, and blue. Did he only wear red, white, and blue? That was so bizarre. That was just so bizarre. And it made me so sad because in the beginning of her like intro, she was like crying in the beginning of the episodes about how she like had to work really hard on self-love and she didn't love herself before and now she does. And it was like... Like, do you know how much of a set... I, I hope this isn't going to be a setback to her self-love journey, having this experience with JP, because, like, first of all, she's so freaking cute. She's so pretty, with and without makeup. And then for him to, like, blame not talking to her because on the first day she was caked up with these big eyelashes and she got foundation all over his jacket. I was, like... I was just sitting there, like... I could not even believe it, honestly. Like, I don't know. He he was giving off a whole lot of red flags. And then like, and then all this stuff with like Lydia and Uche. And I just feel bad because I feel like Uche and Aaliyah like didn't really get their fair chance because of the Lydia stuff. But like, I don't know. I feel like Uche probably. I feel personally. I feel like he could. He should have given her a chance, in my opinion you know, when they met up at the restaurant and they were gonna like, they were just talking it out. I, I mean, I, I can understand where he's coming from being upset that Aaliyah left, you know, the pods before, but I, I can also kind of understand that she was in a really uncomfortable situation with Lydia. And I just feel like Lydia was coming off like really, really like intense. And it, it was putting Leah in her head a bit, you know? And now Lydia's talking about how Uche had cheated on her. And then Uche was giving Aaliyah all this flack when she said that she had cheated once. And it's just like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Anyway, it's a wild season for sure. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to make some pumpkin spice oatmeal. <laughs> so I bought this at Walmart. I haven't tried it yet. It's the... Quaker instant oatmeal um, and they have pumpkin spice and cinnamon and spice. I'm gonna do the pumpkin spice. I have not had instant oatmeal in a very long time and it just sounds very like yummy and nostalgic and like cozy pumpkin spice. We're just gonna eyeball it. I'm gonna make it in my little Hello Pumpkin mug from Amazon, smell test. It's not really smelling like pumpkin spice, but it is what it is. And we're going to do some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And we're just going to pop it into the microwave. All right, we're back with our oatmeal. Let's give it a taste. Hmm. It's good. It's really subtle. It's not super sweet. It literally just has like a small hint of pumpkin spice but it is pretty good. I like it. You could always add in like some pumpkin pie spice into it as well, but if you want like a subtle bit, it's not overpowering, pretty good. All right, you guys, I won't lie, I'm getting a little bit tired now, so I think I still should rest most of today so I can continue to heal and get better. But thank you guys for all the well wishes. I am so grateful for you guys. Definitely check out Factor down below. They are so, so delicious. I'm definitely having one of those for lunch later today. But I love you so much, and I will see you again in a few days. Bye.